Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here, and it's time for an update on my three red-sided garters. Uh-oh. On March 1st, I awakened these three from brumation, and it is now late April. As you can see, the female has put on some size since then, especially in girth, and her scales are starting to spread a little bit, and she's probably due for a clutter of baby garters within the next month or so. So the common name of this subspecies of garter snake often causes a little bit of confusion. This is Thamnophis sirtalis parietalis, also known as the red-sided garter snake. There is another subspecies of the same species, the California red-sided garter snake, Thamnophis sirtalis infernalis. So even though they have similar markings, there are quite a bit different snakes from different areas. This particular locality uh, is from Montana. I want to give a shout out to my supporters at Patreon. I really appreciate that you're willing to help me do what I love to do, which is learn about animals and then teach others what I learn. If you're interested in helping to support Aquarimax through Patreon, please click the link at the end of the video. One common sign that the female is just about to give birth is that around a week before the birth, she will refuse food. On Saturday, just two days ago, she had a ravenous appetite. So let's see how she feels now. The first item on the menu for today, a night crawler. Let's see how she feels about it. Oh, she's not gonna lose any time with that. She is very hungry still. So that means we probably have a little time. I'm going to just gently redirect the male garter that was looking kind of interested at the worms and uh, distracting him by offering my hand too. And it's, it's not a good thing to have two garters trying for the same worm because uh, they can get a little confused about where the worm ends and the snake begins. I'm going to offer her another night crawler. Later I'll be offering her some large pinkies. She's been taking quite a few of those at a time, but she does enjoy her worms and it's good to offer that for variety. I often dust the food with calcium, not every time, and this is one of those times where I don't. It's a good idea to alternate between dusting the food with calcium and vitamins and then not dusting it at all. The male can smell the uh, worms that I've been offering the female, obviously. It's, uh, Ruby is the female and Rufus is the male. I think that's Rufus, yeah. Looks like it. She's uh, feeling a little uncomfortable that the male is smelling her worms on, on her that she recently ate. Oh, dropped the worm there. I'm going to offer it to the little worm to the male here. Let's see if he'll take it. There he goes. I'm going to go ahead and offer Ruby this small worm because she's excited about eating. So might as well. Maybe this guy will take some up here. Yep, he looks pretty interested. There he goes. Got one of them. Wonder where Houdini is. He's not particularly in evidence right now. He's usually pretty excited about dinner, just like the rest of them, so kind of out of character for him. Oh, I see him. He's in the back. Maybe you can see his reflection in the bottom, in the top left quadrant there a little bit. The side glass. He'll probably show up in a second. Okay, Ruby. There's the last worm. If you're into it, of course you are. I am really excited for Ruby here to give birth in the next few weeks for a lot of reasons. One, I'm simply excited to produce snakes at all. I've, I've never bred snakes. I've bred a variety of creatures, many, many different types, but I have never produced snakes. So that's exciting in and of itself. Another aspect of excitement for me is that I raised these snakes from month old or approximately month old little neonates I got from Don's garter snakes. And so seeing the cycle complete itself 
it is fun as well. And I'm excited for more uh, red-sided garter snakes to get into the hobby. They're not the most popular subspecies, but they're really pretty fantastic. And I, I hope uh, that getting more out into the hobby of these captive bred will uh, help uh, make them more well-known, more popular, and more readily available. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell so you don't miss my next video.